Hey guys, it's Jacqueline, and today I wanted to film my October favorites for you guys. So you may or may not have noticed that my bedroom looks a little different, and that's because I moved. I'm super excited about it. I'm definitely one of those people that embraces change, or at least I try to be. But like I said, I'm super excited about it. It's just been a process of packing things and unpacking and organizing and all the other fun stuff that comes along with moving. But I'm finally at a place where I'm somewhat organized that I can sit down and film a video. So let's get into the things I've been loving over the past month. So I'm gonna start off with what I'm probably most excited about and these are some lip colors. These ones are from NYX and these are the Soft Matte Lip Creams. And you can see I have a very large variety of shades here. Just kidding, I don't really have any variety in my lip colors, I always go for nudes. But I've been loving these recently, they're basically like a liquid lipstick that dries matte. And I had heard so much hype online about these products, a lot of people were saying how amazing they were. And in Canada, we don't really get NYX products, we would get maybe like a few select products, but we never would get like the full range of NYX products. But recently, NYX launched in Canada, so I've been able to get my hands on these, and these things are amazing. These are pretty much the only lip product that I've been wearing on my lips over the past month, with the exception of one other lip product, but I will get to that later. But these are great because they have such a great staying power, like I've literally eaten an entire meal, I ate an apple, like not sliced up, like I ate an apple and I had dinner and drink a beverage and my lipstick still looked perfect. So I really like how they're so low maintenance and I don't have to worry about like constantly touching up my lipstick because let's be real, no one's got time for that. I'm also a huge fan of how big their color selection is. They have so many different neutrals and so many different bright colors. There's literally something for everyone which is awesome. Out of these three colors that I have, I've really been loving Abu Dhabi. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's just like the most gorgeous mid-tone pinky brown color. It's right up my alley and I just think this color is fantastic. So it's definitely worth checking out if you like long wearing matte lip creams. The next thing that I have here I'm also super pumped about and I'm pretty sure that these were like a huge trend in the summer but for some reason I'm just getting around to trying them out now. And these are temporary tattoos. So I have some here that are sparkly and some that are not. This brand in particular is called Bodhi and I really love the designs of these ones. I actually have a little sparkly triangle right now on my wrist. I'm not sure if you can see it. But I just think these are super fun for like a night out. I was really loving them for Halloween as well. I think these would look really cool with a nice tan as well. I mean, I don't have a tan right now and I probably won't get one for a while. But I think these would look awesome with a good tan. So yeah, I think these are super fun and I really love the idea of these guys. Okay, the next thing that I have here it looks a little gross because I've been using it. But this is Buffy from Lush and this is a body butter. So basically what that means, it's like a scrub and a moisturizer in one. Initially, I talked a bit about this in my most recent Lush haul, and I was a little grumpy because my favorite body butter of all time from Lush actually got discontinued. So I bought this one instead in hopes of replacing it, but like I said, I was a little grumpy, and I was like, it smells like salami, and I take it back now. Actually, no, I don't take it back now because it still smells like salami, but it is so, so good. I know I tried this like way back in the day, and I have no idea why I ever stopped using it. This thing is way better than that old body butter that I used to love. I have no idea why I ever stopped using it. It's got such a good scrub, and it's so moisturizing. The only thing that I will say is that the fragrance isn't as nice as the old body butter, but it's not like the fragrance stays on your skin or anything. But in terms of like results and how it feels on your skin, ugh, this thing hands down, amazing. The next thing that I want to talk a little bit about is teeth whitening. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I don't think I have. Over the last month I've actually been working on a TV series which has been so so much fun. But that means super early mornings and super late nights and really long days. Which I don't mind, but that just means I've been drinking a lot of coffee and a lot of caffeine. Normally I try not to drink coffee just because I know it stains my teeth and I get a little too like hyper and crazy from it. So normally, especially over the last couple of years, I've really just tried to avoid drinking coffee. But this last month, I've really been needing it, so I've been drinking coffee. Long story short, my teeth have been getting stained and getting more yellow. Recently though, a lot of you guys have been noticing that my teeth have been looking a bit whiter and a bit brighter, and I've actually been using a new whitening kit, and I'm actually really, really loving it. Okay, so my camera just randomly died for some reason. I think that's a sign that I've been sitting here and talking for too long. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, the whitening kit. The whitening kit that I've been using recently is actually from Whitening Lightning. It's this guy here. It's called Dial a Smile. And originally I was sent this and I was a little skeptical because it's one of those products that you see literally everyone promoting on Instagram. So I was a little skeptical but I wanted my teeth to be white so I thought I would give it a try and I actually really ended up liking it. It's really cool. It's got this little like tooth shade wheel thing so you can kind of like line up your teeth and see what shade you are when you start and then after when you whiten. 
So I probably started around like a seven or an eight, and now my teeth are around like a three to a four. So they ended up getting significantly whiter, which is what I wanted. Um, it's really cool though. It has this like little UV light thing that you put inside your mouth. Um, so you have this like little syringe of gel that you kind of brush onto your teeth, and then you like turn this on and pop it in your teeth for like 20, 30 minutes. And I guess like the UV light boosts the effects of like the whitening gel, so it just makes it a lot quicker. So yeah, it's awesome. I really like it. It's kind of fun too, because like, I don't know, it's got like a little laser light. Um, but yeah, no, I really like it. I've tried quite a few other whitening kits in the past. I've tried like the Crest White Strips, which I'm not a huge fan of. Those make my teeth like throb. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just have sensitive teeth. But they're kind of like little stickers that you put on your teeth and you let them sit for like, again, 30 minutes but it makes your gums so sensitive and it makes like the root of your tooth ache and it's really hard to drink like cold or hot water after, they're just super sensitive. So I'm not a huge fan of those and I don't find that I get that good of results anyways. I've also gone to my dentist and gotten like professional whitening trays made and those work and those are painless, but I just find that I get way quicker results with this. So yeah, this actually isn't an Instagram scam, it actually works. So if you're into whitening your teeth, it's definitely worth checking this thing out. Another lip product that I've been loving this month is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is one of the Matte Revolution lipsticks. This is in the shade Birkin Brown, which is just such like a gorgeous, deep, brownie red color. And like I said, I normally am a neutrals girl, but I feel like fall winter time is when I can start cracking out some darker colors. So I've really been liking this one. This has been my go-to if I am going to do a darker lip. And I just really like the finish of these guys and the formulation. It just is a nice lipstick. Oh, okay, my camera died again somehow, and I have no idea why it keeps dying, because I haven't even been filming for that long. Stay. Stay. Okay, the next product that I want to talk about is actually a gel eyeliner. And if you know me at all, that's actually kind of weird, because I rarely ever wear eyeliner. I find with my eye shape, I have a lot of, like, a lot of brow bone space, but I have a very small, like, eyelid. So I find eyeliner tends to look a little weird on me, like there's just not enough room in my eyeball for it. But recently I've been trying to wear it a bit more and become more comfortable with like how to use it and just to be able to practice with it a bit more I guess. So I've really been trying to find like a nice eyeliner shape that suits my eye and I think I've finally gotten the hang of it and I've really been loving this gel eyeliner that I've been using. The eyeliner that I've been using recently is actually number 90 from Inglot and it's just this taupey dark brown kind of gel eyeliner. And I really like the consistency of these guys. It's super, super creamy, so it's really easy to use. I've used the black, um, the black MAC gel eyeliner before, and I really like that one as well. I just find this one is a bit more of like a buttery consistency. So it just kind of depends what you like. I normally prefer gel eyeliner if I'm doing an eyeliner look. Um, but yeah, so I've really been liking experimenting with eyeliner, and I've really been liking to use, and I've really been liking to use, I've really been liking using this one. Get it together, girl. I want to show you guys this brush too because I've realized how important it is to have a good brush while using gel eyeliner and this is the MAC 266 brush. I've used a ton of different angled eyeliner brushes and I have a bunch of different ones but this one always comes out on top. I just think this one is fantastic. It's nice because the bristles on it are really stiff so they don't like splay out and end up getting like frayed which I find is the case with a lot of other eyeliner brushes. Um, so it's nice because it really holds its shape and it's just like the perfect size for doing a little wing and just creating a small little eyeliner look. I also really like this brush for doing my eyebrows, so I normally just like clean it off and use it for my eyebrows as well. So yeah, the MAC 266, it's really a great angled brush if you are on the hunt for a new one. The next product that I've been using a ton this past month is actually a hair product and this is from got to be and this is the Volumizing Styling Powder. And my hair is both a blessing and a curse. My hair is very straight and very like silky and smooth, which I know a bunch of you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, why is she complaining about that? But it is nice that I have fairly smooth hair, but when I try to style it or like do a cool braid in it or just a cool updo, it just falls flat and it doesn't hold any volume and it can just be very challenging to style. So I've really been liking using this powder, like you just kind of open it up and then you just kind of like dust it in your hair like that and it basically just adds a ton of like texture and it makes your hair a bit more like grippy and like grimy almost it makes your hair feel a little gross but it makes it hold style which is awesome a little bit of this product really goes a long way so I can imagine this little bottle will last me quite some time which is nice it's just nice to finally have a product that actually gives your hair instant volume and 
can actually help your hairstyles last so much longer. So yeah, if you've got a very similar hair type to me, it's definitely worth checking out because this thing has been working miracles. So those are all of the products that I've been loving for the month of October. I hope that October treated you well and that you had a good Halloween. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite products have been over the past month because I would love to know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope the lighting wasn't too bad because I'm still trying to figure it out in this new setting. But yes, I hope you guys had a great month. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.